<laughs> there, um, you know, it's a tragedy how most romantic relationships end like that. <clears throat> yes. In total judgment, you know, they start off like in, in love and the other person is the, the savior, the, the, the most beautiful woman ever, mm -hmm. the, you know, all of this. And, uh, and then you, you end and like the other person is like killed off. They were terrible. They were this, they were that. And, uh, yeah, this is, this is one of the things that seems insane. To me. Yes. If nothing else, now imagine that you do this. Imagine like, that seems crazy. Exactly. That's the crazy. <laughs> imagine we are the psychopaths. Yes. Human, human beings if you, are psychopaths. If you, if you think that that person is, is the angel and then later you think that person is the devil, doesn't, shouldn't you question your own judgment? <laughs> yeah. You know, your it's your own world. Reality. Yeah. Did you not, you know, if you thought they were like the savior and now they're uh, like the devil. Uh, does this keep repeating itself? <laughs> Maybe you're a psychopath. Yes. I uh, know it's that person. <laughs> yes. They went from being an angel to a devil. Yes. That's a pretty radical transformation. Yes. <laughs> Fuck. So. Yeah, the only constant in, in all of your fucked up relationships is you. It's you. <laughs> Fuck. Yes. Mm, it's life or death, people. You know? It's so sad. I, I, this speaks really to me because it's so sad because I see so many relationships and they could be great together, you know, and, and they start distancing, they start putting each other in prisons, you know, and, and, and otherwise that could have been a great relationship. And now they're, they're, they're going to break up yes. and they're going to hate that person yes. forever. And they could be in each other's life forever. If they would just, if they would just, it's, it's simple, but it's not easy. If they would see the prison of judgment that they're making for themselves, for the other. And if they would see how the other world could save them, you know, could save their soul. Not only is it like, hey, maybe we're all insane if we're starting off thinking someone is, is incredible. And then th these people that come into our life turn out to be devils. Ain't from angel to devil, angel to devil. Hey, maybe we are crazy. Yes. Well, not only that, imagine we're making the other people crazy. Yes. We're turning all these angels into psychopaths. Yes. Maybe maybe we're, they're not just becoming psychopaths by themselves. We're turning them into psychopaths. Yes. But, you know, another thing I want to share is that uh, a lot of women, I think, after some traumatic experiences with in relationship with men, that how they can see that there's so many more male psychopaths in the sense of like men being detached from their emotions. And they're just out there and they're right. sleeping with whoever and they're doing whatever they want, getting their own way. And they're, and they're not emotional. They must be psychopaths. Like men are psychopaths, you know, whereas to men who've had these, you know, blow ups with women, their version of a psychopath is like females, man. So emotionally manipulative and just wow, creating all these stories and blah, all this. There's like, see, I can see how totally in men's world. You know, to a lot of men, women just appear generally as psychopaths.